All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys one of the hardest matchups of Riven ever, um, which is the Riven versus Poppy matchup, the one and only matchup that I guess like pretty much everybody hates <laughs> at this point. <laughs> so uh, anyway, what we are running in this game is the Conquer page. We also have Transcendence and we also have the Gathering Storm for scaling. So what I've picked this game is a Dorn's Blade. Because we don't necessarily need a Dorn Shield here. Because we only get poked by the Q and the coin. Which is not really a problem. I've also taken Ignite with TP. Um, with the intention of being able to Snowball. Uh, both through my Ignite and the ability to TP. So. Alright, so. The way how we're going to approach this Poppy. A very, very easy way to do it. Is keeping it relaxed and chill and just simply wait for level three i'll show you why one of the main things you should know about this matchup a lot of people that tend to like play riveting as poppy eventually start tilting and you take fights that you shouldn't be taking in fact if you play against poppy and you don't feed against poppy you're technically already winning and i'll show you why with first level 3 here. Let's do it. So once we reach level 3, we're going to be focusing on specifically reaching 10 stacks with my Conquer. Or I mean the max stacks with my Conquer. And we're going to see if we can turn around. Abusing the Conquer. Alright, let's get that. So let me explain in short what's going on here, okay? The reason why we actually beat Poppy so unbelievably hard are for two reasons right now. The first reason being, we went for a short trade against Poppy. This guy was, like, taking it pretty serious and continued on with the fight. So what you can actually do against Poppy, like I said earlier, if you maintain the stacks, all right, you gain an advantage by default. Uh, let me just quickly push this out. I'll, I'll explain again in a bit. There's a reason why we win those long extended fights. Alright. We win this one too because we have the wave advantage. I'm going to die from our tower. This guy surely won't like it. Got gotcha. you. So, let me just say in short, the reason why we win those fights is because Poppy is playing, as you can see, this guy is playing with Grasp, right? Now, we on the other hand, we have Conquer, which means if we continuously short trade this Poppy, we maintain the full stacks on Conquer simply by continuously autoing him throughout every 5 seconds. We will always be stronger than Poppy, simply because Conquer provides more. Where Grasp, right? Grasp works in short trades. Where if you continue to stay in combat with CS, with Creeps, you proc the Grasp, you back off, you you will hard win that way, okay? So remember that. Doesn't matter what champion you're facing off, whether it's Poppy or super random things like Gangplank or something, I don't know. Champions that abuse uh, Grasp, where you abuse Conquer, you win if you have the max out stacks and you maintain those stacks, it's crucial. Doesn't matter what champ they're playing, you will win. That's always been the trick when you face off champions like this. So yeah, now it gets pretty straightforward. All we have to do right now is just short trade him a couple times. We will out damage him because we already have the lead against him. Gonna pop the Q out. Yup. It's gonna go for the coin. Make sure that if you play against Poppy, you always pick up the coin before she does. Um, unless that she has her Q up, because otherwise she will out damage you there. You don't want that. The most important thing against Poppy is to win the early game. If you can win the pre six against this Poppy and you get like one or two kills or whatever, it becomes pretty easy. 
Once again, we trade here. She wants to go for the coin. So what I do is I trade specifically at the coin. So that we win again like another trade. Now she has the coin again. I'm just going to walk back. Avoid the coin completely. Pick up the coin again. This guy loses the cannon. It's going to go for the CS right here. And now we just... We're going to all in. Ooh, smart. Well, don't worry. I know you guys are probably worried, but I'm not. We're all good. We're fine. We're going to stand over here. Take the plates, and then we back out. gonna be tricky oh he actually went for the yeah he went for the control jump ward feels bad man okay it's fine doesn't matter we uh we did have a cane right here but he was also very low so it, it obviously doesn't work uh, let's go for this one i'm gonna tp So don't worry about it, guys. Just we're, we're staying relaxed here. Doesn't matter if Lee Sin kills us; it's all fine. I don't care if Lee Sin snowballs this game or not. But I think I'm probably gonna do is um, race down this wave once again. I'm just gonna deny this Poppy one more wave, and then we will start pushing the wave into Poppy directly, and we'll use that to regain pressure. So we just My take this one easy. Not lost. Poppy should be coming in soon. Now I'm going to start hard pushing it. I don't care about slow pushing. All I care about is just getting this wave out of the way. Because I want to go mid lane. I want to roam there and see if I can kill Falconclaws. I don't care about killing Poppy anymore. Because this guy is going tanky mode right now. He's going for steel caps and stuff. Bomb play. Sure. Again, I don't care about Poppy dude trying to trade me. We we out trade those anyway. I'm gonna charge my Q here. Learn from your mistakes. Go for a tiny trade. We can actually kill Poppy now because she fell for my third Q. Apparently she didn't notice. And she's dead. Ignitable popper. <laughs> what HP? <laughs> oh man, the amount of times that I've seen people walking away with that HP actually. Oof. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm gonna die for this guy. I can't see this. I got you. Finally got you. Alright, time to get back. Time to get my uh, my gore chinker. What I did right there, simple. I knew if I was going to walk into the tower, it's likely that... Oh my... <laughs> Are you serious? Like, on the, on the last, like, one or two seconds or something? I, I think, like, one second, Lee Sin came in? <laughs> Are you serious, man? All right. So back. I got my gore drinker. Hey, uh, by the way, X Exile, I thank you so much for the sub prime, man. Exile 29. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the support. You're awesome, man. Thank you. So what I was trying to say, I knew if I was going to walk into the tower, that Poppy would dish out like all the combos. So I just simply wait for Poppy to like 
pop the combo and then we just simply, you know, all in. Once all the abilities are down, that was what I was going to say. <laughs> Spurs the sin. <clears throat> this guy's getting uh, pretty tanky right now. I think I might actually get ganked by Lee here. I think I might get ganked. I think Lee Sin is here or something. Wait a second. Yeah, it's pointless. Because we have to pop my ultimate. I don't know where Leeson is. Or... Nope. She overextended. So we still end up killing her. Even when Poppy overextends, at some point, at some point she probably will. Um, you can still get those stacks on your Conquer. Um, especially if you already have like a tiny little bit of a lead. It shouldn't be that hard to kill Poppy. You know, unless she already has... Bremble and everything else. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get a jungle camp here. No. Alright, let's get the final plate down. Thing for my boots, I'll probably just go for... Mercs. Maybe we can go for Lucidity Boots for Snowballing and get my Mercs later. That's kind of what I'm thinking about, actually. Alright, goodbye. Um, I think he's gonna force me, probably. Huh? Did I just... Wait, what? Okay. Oof, that poppy is uh, dropping an entire wave to actually stop me from getting a jungle camp here. As you can already notice. Okay. Not exactly worth for him, to be honest. Okay. He doesn't have a single plate, so... Oh. Well, not fun. <laughs> it's a poppy with ignite as well, so... Pretty aggressive one. I'm just gonna have to go back here. Like, she's been forcing me all the time ever since I tried to walk back to lane. And unfortunately, it's not been really working out. So, I'll just do it like this then. It's fine too. I think for this game, I think I'll probably just go for the Death Stance build uh, straight away. I'm, I'm not, definitely not going to go for Hydra this game. Because they have a team that counters us very hard. We have to have like some type of survivability this game. So right away, as soon as we get Death Stance, we will probably go for Sterics Gage maybe. And then we end up probably go going for Guardian Angel with a grudge to maximize damage. Choose your own path. This camp is ours. Awesome. Now we're level 12. I'm going to see if I can kill Falcos right here. I'm going to ping this uh, cane to keep chasing it because it's going to be your free one. Well, fortunately not. Okay, if Felkos walks up, it probably means that Lee Sin is down here. Lee Sin's down here. Sometimes you can kind of predict where junglers are going to be depending on like where or like how they are moving. Like of course a fell cost is not going to chase you down, obviously. It it makes no sense for a Felcos player. 
to like actively move up to a rhythm. You know, makes no sense. So you can often like kind of tell already where Lee Sin's gonna be. Most of the time. Let's push this out. I think Lee Sin's gonna take the the Herald, I think. Of course. He's never started it. He just waits for me to, uh, to move up here. Still not doing it. So we could maybe do it ourselves. But I think it's probably warded. So that's not going to work that well. I'm just going to go back to base and grab my Warhammer. Um, Maybe... Maybe we can actually stay for like a couple more waves. And then we can go back with a full item. like 400 more or actually specifically 350 more so Kane's going for Herald awesome replace boards down this can't be a spawning remember Lee Sin could be here now There we go. Probably not going to be a kill. We all know how Poppy works at this point. Yeah, this guy's dead. Oh, what a lucky Poppy. <laughs> he survived so many times. This is the most lucky Poppy I have seen in quite some time. Because this is the, about the third time, I think, that he walks away with, like, 1 HP or something like that. <laughs> this Poppy is, like, the master at, like, surviving everything. I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't do it to me. All right. Got my death sense. So Lee Sin and Falcos are both very fed. But they're both champions that I can easily kill. So I'm not that worried, to be honest. Oh, of course. Oh, and uh, Poppy is on the back there. Well, we're missing the team now. He's not going to jump. I don't think that she's going to try to walk up here. Maybe we can use this guy as a bait. I knew it. I I just knew it. Like the moment I saw this 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 vex like right here standing in the lane and I saw this Senna right there. I just knew if I walk up here then this Senna is going to be confident enough to like walk up in the brush because I put myself in the position of Senna. I think what would what would Senna do if I if I were doing this? Like that's my uh, that's my take on that. I literally put myself in the mindset of the Senna and just think, what would happen if this Riffin walks up? Like, how how would a, most people react to it? You know what I mean? And because of that, like, I, I could 100% tell if I keep on going back and forth against, you know, Vex, that he would eventually move up. And it actually worked out pretty well. Falcos is right there. Yeah. 
He's got no flash. Awesome. Now we get blue. We're going to get this camp here. And we're going to go back top side, take the wave here. Or well, before we do, actually, I'm just going to take this wave. <laughs> It's all the way up here. Take the next wave, and then we're going to back out. Make sure to get my uh, Sterics Gage. Alright, time to backport. So, we're going to go for Sterics Gage now. And after Sterics Gage, uh, we will buy a Guardian's Angel with a Grudge. So... I'll go for a red. I'll go for the the red buff here. Ah, uh, it's taken, unfortunately. Okay. Let's go back to upside. We're gonna. Gonna be looking into killing this poppy here once again. I think that she will probably just hold me away, but we'll see. That's what most poppy players do. They don't fight you, they kick you away all the time. That's what their ultimate is basically designed to do, in my opinion. Yep. Literally, like, the only thing that this pop... I, I bet you, like, Riot Games, they were probably going to let into the headquarters. They had, like, a new champion to be scheduled. And then this one day, they probably thought, like, Hey, let's rework Poppy. Make sure to give her, like, a, a like a knock-up for Riffin. And make sure to give her a dash. Um, damage with shield. And then make sure that in case Riffin is about to get a catch, make sure to, like... Give it like an ultimate to like kick the person backwards. I I, I bet you like it, it. It nearly feels like Poppy has been created simply just to to counter all the champions like Riffin and Yasuo and a few others. <laughs> I bet you like that's how it feels like. <laughs> this champion is designed for only one purpose. <laughs> Like, Poppy has the perfect kit for, for doing this stuff. <laughs> uh, Vex is right here, but she's pathing towards bot lane. Maybe we can probably get, like, several kills down here. Maybe. I could hit by a stun. Well. I could probably still get plenty of kills, but they have to walk up to me, you know. And I need my ultimate back, too. Let's take this wave here. Take this camp here, too. Uh, they're about to go Drake in about 25 seconds. So long I've wandered. Mm -hmm. Well, you're dead. And you're still dead. <laughs> you're dead, man. You can't survive this. Let's try. 
<laughs> like his guy flashed. He went. Uh, he used a, a plant to jump over the wall. <laughs> he did everything he could. He threw like four stuns or something like that. I don't know at this point anymore. Lost track. <laughs> but we as Riffin, we are we we can't be proud of all the dashes we have. If we have Yumi, we can basically outrun everybody, man. <laughs> Not that hard to do. Thank you. Goodbye, Lee. You're like the last one remaining with Poppy. Nice. Now we have 3.7. So what I think I'm going to do is go for Grutch instead of Guardian's Angel. And uh, yeah, I'll just sell my Dorm's Blade for Stopwatch if I have the, the goal to do it. Uh, wait a second. There we go. Got stopwatch. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, wait a second. We're, we can move up to the wolves and then we can see what they are going to do. I hope that Lee is not taking it. Oh, wait, he's dead. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm very blind. I didn't see it. So Alright, here we go. Let's move up to bot lane. See if we can uh, grab a kill on this fellow quest right here. Because he's actually overextending. Oh, okay, okay. We're about to be in trouble here. <laughs> He's not going to jump. Alright, team. Oh! Oh, the enemy team played that so well, I'm not going to lie. I had zero chances, man. I was be. I, I think, yeah, I got CC'd by Poppy. Then I got altered by Poppy. And then I got eat again by Poppy, I think. And also I got knock off by Poppy as well. She literally put a CC chain on me, man. I couldn't get out of this stuff anymore. <laughs> that was honestly pretty well played by the enemy team, not gonna lie. Um, I saw Falcus right here. They did have vision on me. So this Falcus ran this way and I jumped this way. So I was kind of trapped here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for that pot. I think I'm gonna try to TP on the back here. I hope it's gonna work out. They're gonna run this way. They actually ran off this way, so even worse. You're dead. I'm going to chase him down.
got you. All right, several kills right here. Let's go for the for the Baron. And then we instantly go to Drake afterwards. We gotta go bear uh we gotta go dragon right now. We have to, we don't have a choice. We must force it right now. Because it's the it's gonna be the four drag now. We also got the Drake right there. Now we get this camp here. And then we move up to this next wave here, take some jungle camps, and then we're probably back out after that stuff. Take this camp here. Could try to kill this Lee. Wait a second. <laughs> it's fine, doesn't matter. My ultimate super short cooldown anyways. It will make a difference. from Lux. Wait, wait a second. What happened, man? She popped her ultimate. She did like what? Like 1,500 damage or something? What did I just witness for a second? This Lee Sin is like mega tanky, mega fed. This Lux just casually drops on ultimate. <laughs> like half the health bar just gone. Disappeared. Alright, let's go. We've got my mercs now, so we can survive the all the CC they have. I need them to group up now. Oh, we nearly made the jump. Wait a second, wait a second. Here we go. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> wait, I can't. I reviews. I reviews. Ah, uh, come on, man. Come on. Come on, wait. wait I'm gonna try once more. I reviews. I reviews. Okay, I, I accept it. <laughs> not today. Jump is not happening today. This one? No. Th this one's absolutely not working today. <laughs> Oh, I got you then. It's gonna CC me. Got you. Now I take the tower away. Is it that wall too big? Well, you can't jump the wall. Like, I'm not kidding, actually. You can you, you can jump it. This is really hard to do. But it's possible, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. Let's get a tower. He's got his ultimate back soon. next okay oh we got you as well next okay that's probably the game 25 kills this game let's go man either way this is uh riffin top lane is the poppy matchup Thanks so much for watching today's uh, YouTube video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.